What is up here? This is Minute Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Corpse Party Sweet Such Ghost Hysteric Birthday Bash Blind. In the last episode, we actually completed Chapter 1. We got the right ending, despite both Morishige and Yoshiki dying. Uh, however, it seems they've been brought back to life, so we can finally continue on with this harem play. However, um, at the end of the previous episode, I showed off that there are still a couple endings to get for this first chapter. Uh, namely... Well, I, I don't really know, namely, but um, <laughs> uh, what they would specifically be called. But there are two more endings to get. So I was thinking at the start of this episode, we would go about exploring that. So what we did last time is we went to this last one and we decided to either switch or not switch the things, I guess, um, the, the costumes. However, this looks like the same decision. I think this is just when we approached the same decision before. So I think this might be our previous decision point. So let's go back here and see what happens if we... I don't know. If we choose differently, I guess. Okay. Don't believe her, keep surveying, or trust in her just this once. Oh, is this about like crossing the plank or something? I guess, I mean, last time we said trust in her just this once, we'll go with don't believe her, keep surveying. Well, now I definitely can't trust you, says Kurosaki. So, you don't believe me then? How do you feel about distrustful boys, Sachiko-chan? Yeah, I was gonna say, even if you don't trust her, if you don't obey her, you're more likely to incur some sort of wrath, I'd imagine. I hate them. You got that? Kensuke-kun? That's all well and good, but, I mean, our lives are on the line here. Hmm? Well, that's not a very pleasant sound effect, is it? It was at that moment that he noticed strange figures drawing near. What the heck? What? I could swear I just saw something like an octopus's tentacles come out from under the floor. And not just one or two of them. Holy crap, this thing is fast! Yikes. So, Kurosaki is being attacked by a tentacle monster now, is that is that the case? Kurosaki suddenly fell to the floor. It's got my leg. Does it plan on dragging me down? Darn, it's so strong. I can't get myself free. Kurosaki was being dragged closer and closer to the edge. It's really going to pull me in if I don't do something. This is such a cheap shot, Sachiko. Exactly. If you won't play along with my game, then I don't need you here. Yeah, I, I figured that would be her attitude. As I'm sure you guys did too. When did I say I wouldn't play along? No time to argue now. Hmm, maybe. If you apologize and walk across that board, I'll forgive you. What? Uh oh. It's easy. Just say, I, uh, Kurosaki. What was your first name again? <laughs> Kurosaki Kensuke. Right, right. Kensuke. I knew that. Really. Sounds like a very prominent political figure at the moment. <laughs> oh, of course you did. Ahem. I'm only going to say this once, so listen carefully, okay? I, Kurosaki Kensuke, was a total baka. Please accept my apology, Lord Sachiko, and allow me back into the race. Say that, and you're free to go. It's just making things worse, you know? 
Look, are you going to apologize or aren't you? Which is it? Ooh, I thought we might have actually like another decision branching point. No, I'm not. I absolutely will not apologize. Pity. You asked for it, then. What? It's attacking Mitsuki? And Fukuroi. Those two are gonna have to bear your burden. Why? They have nothing to do with this. <laughs> I don't care if they do or not. I'm in charge here. I can do whatever I want. And I mean, for what it's worth, if she's trying to punish Kurosaki, this is a good way to do it, is to hurt his friends and make him feel like he's at fault for it. Hey, where do you think you're touching? Stay out of there. I knew as soon as- I knew as it started attacking Mitsuki, that's exactly where this would go. Sachiko, how- how dare you, um, Mitsuki, huh? Yep, <laughs> I knew it. Oh, this is- this is from the OP, isn't it? What? Kurosaki, that was not the time. Is this real live tentacle play? That's amazing. Er, no, it, it isn't. D don't touch me there, no. Kurosaki, please. Huh? Apologize, darn it, if you do, these creepy things will go away, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I love the narrator's voice. But at that moment, a thought coursed through Kurosaki's mind, like a bolt of electricity. Oh no. Kurosaki, you were so cool in Book of Shadows, and even in the original Corpse Party. <laughs> Don't compromise his character like this game. If I wait just a little bit longer, Mitsuki may wind up in an even more interesting position. <sighs> Quite a devilish bolt of electricity it was. Kurosaki's brain was colored with naught but dirty thoughts. Kurosaki, feel like apologizing now? I, Kurosaki Kensuke, will not allow myself to be made light of. Eh? I'll never apologize. <laughs> Stare. What? <laughs> and don't ever think you can make me say whatever you want me to simply... Simply through bullying. Stares. <laughs> He's like trying to come off as all like manly and defending himself and full of pride and, you know, autonomy. <laughs> but the ulterior motive, please. <laughs> That's the spirit, Kensuke. There's absolutely no reason you should apologize here. Though, Mitsuki and I are in a rather painful situation. No reason at all, just, you know, we're uh, not doing so hot over here. <laughs> Nevertheless, you mustn't give in to her demands. Fukuroi seems to be having a really tough time. Oh, oh I accidentally, uh, what's it called? Right click instead of left clicking. Fukuroi! <laughs> Fukuroi! <laughs> Pushing himself to the brink. Probably all because he's got a clearer view of Mitsuki than I do. No, no, don't. Don't rope Fukuroi in it too. I mean, I get they're high school boys, but still. Fukuroi, I won't let your noble sacrifice go to waste. 
Sachiko, you heard it from Fukuroi now too. Neither of us will ever give in to you. She's not the one telling you to apologize though. I am. Kurosaki, they've gotten into my shirt now. Stop, not there. Mitsuki, I know it's painful, but you need to bear with it for the greater good. Oh my god, Kurosaki, your your character is tanking immediately. Very quickly. <laughs> I'll greater good your face. Hurry up and apologize, darn it. This is really gross. Kinsuke, no matter how much you may think you'd be doing it for me or Mitsuki, you must never say those demeaning words. What? Is Fukuroi really in on it too? As comical as it is, it is disappointing for characters that had been developed in previous games. Fukuroi, you keep out of this! Uh, no, it's so slimy! Mitsu! No, Mitsuki! Men are different, you see. Huh? Even when we know we're going to lose, there are times we must fight anyway. And this is one of your fights? Whilst weeping manly tears, Kurosaki kept glancing back at the tentacles, which continued mercilessly attacking the three of them. Mitsuki in particular, as the tentacles had found their way deep inside her clothes, and her face had turned a bright shade of red. <laughs> Ugh, this is getting pretty bad. I'm seeing the most amazing sight of my life, but man, these tentacles really do hurt. <laughs> but even if I must forfeit my life, I vow to carve this salacious image of Mitsuki upon my very soul. <laughs> Yes, I would give my very life for this. You're with me, Fukuroi, aren't you? <laughs> you must bear the pain, Mitsuki, bear it! Uh, some, some friend. You've moved me. What? I'm moved by your male pride. I'll forgive you for not walking across the board and return the other two to the foot of the pit. I don't think this is gonna work out too well. Uh, so, no, no. Huh? You, uh, will? Uh, 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 whoa, 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 don't drop us now. Even if I knew in advance that these things would put us down without dropping us, I don't think I'll ever be able to sleep again after this. You two have to start all over again too. Really sorry about that. Huh? Oh, uh, that's fine. Right, Fukuroi? I mean, yeah, they, they keep referring to it as a race, but I don't think it really matters who comes in first. I thought it was more so just about completion. Yeah, no, no problem. Darn it. Hmm? Aren't you happy I forgave you? Yeah, I mean, of course. If that had gone any longer, I think I, even I would have been forced to cry, Uncle. No, you wouldn't have said forgive me even if your leg had been broken. I think you're putting a little too much faith in me there. Oh, ow! What's wrong, Kensuke? 
My leg's definitely been hurt. Now he's finally realizing his leg's been broken because he's no longer distracted by the sight of Mitsuki being ambushed by a bunch of tentacles. You want to throw in the towel then? No, not after coming this far. I want to make it to the goal so we can all go home together. <coughs> I see. Don't push yourself, though. It's difficult enough keeping balance on this wooden plank as it is. Don't worry about me. And sorry to have caused such a fuss. Thanks for speaking up on my behalf, too. You really saved my hide. Hey, what are friends for? You boys have a good deal. You can always just forgive and forget with one another, can't you? <laughs> Kurosaki should have noticed in that instant, however, the murderous glint in Mitsuki's eyes. You can't forgive him for this. Is this going on in Mitsuki's head? Is Mitsuki gonna kill him? You can't. He wanted to watch you suffer. That's why he ignored your pleas. So, Kurosaki was. I was angry with him, and I didn't want to be angry with Yeah, it's the only explanation. Despite my suffering, Kurosaki wouldn't beg for forgiveness from Sachiko. So, I was enjoying the face of that man. There can be no doubt. He was enjoying your pain. You saw his eyes, no? His eyes, watching excitedly as you cried out. He is well beyond forgiveness. He must pay. This, this sort of like internal dialogue reminds me of the conversations of uh, the Persona characters when they're awakening their Personas. You're right. I can't ever forgive him, can I? Could just like he just watched me suffer, and he enjoyed it. Okay, now the three of you, please restart your crossing from the beginning. Oh man, is is she gonna offer to be like the last person to cross and then move the plank or something? Oh. Uh, okay. I'm not even sure I can actually get across this right now, though. Kurosaki, Kurosaki your leg is really swollen. Yeah, it's hurting a lot more than it did before. Is it possible it really is broken? Darn it, the more I focus on it, the more it hurts. Kurosaki, are you okay? Seems my leg really did get broken. Guess I overdid it a bit when I was talking about there being times men have to fight. The heck that was a time you had to fight, you baka. <laughs> Sorry, Kurosaki. Huh? <laughs> but I just can't forgive you for what you did. <laughs> did she push him in the pit? She totally did. Kurosaki fell into the pitch black depths, emitting one final scream as he vanished from sight. Yet still, upon his face was a look of satisfaction. <laughs> I'm probably going to die, but that's all right. Because somehow, I feel like this is the most cool death of them all so far.
And at least I was able to go out seeing something mighty fine. Really? Really, Kurosaki? I regret nothing, and... <laughs> yeah, I guess... I guess he really didn't regret anything about that. That was, um... That was pretty funny, admittedly. So that was... Number one. Did that refer to chapter one, though? I think it did. Um, let's see... I want to see... No, not on the bonus screen. My bad. We'll take a look at the bonus screen eventually, don't worry. But under the ending list, I want to see if that's the second star. It is. Okay. So we'll go back to our quick save list and go to one of the earliest decisions we can make. At the very least, it seems that once you do commit to a decision, you're either on that right end or wrong end. And if you're on the wrong end, it's not going to, you know, fully... I guess course through like a long part of the chapter with multiple more decisions and then eventually you know it's like you have to make one decision and there's like a right decision that'll take you to another decision if you get to that next decision you're already on the right track um, which which I think is nice but anyways let's take a look at our quick saves this one is from what we just did that was the last Morishige one this was the first time we did the Morishige one this is the first time we did the Kurosaki decision and then here is the very first decision Okay, so we'll take a look at what this decision is. Seiko. Seiko. So we can potentially try to stop her. Granted, I guess Seiko dying is part of the right end. Um, I think she's getting all like fired up about the bread eating challenge. I think that's what it is. So we have the option. That's right. We initially like interfere and tell her to watch out for the bread eating monster or whatever. So if we stay quiet and silently root for her, I imagine she's just gonna get gobbled up. But that's what we're here for. <laughs> Please let my suspicion be wrong. Please. At least we get a little bit more Seiko action. At that exact moment, everything went dark for Seiko. Her entire field of vision had been completely obscured by something. Yikes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> bread eating wouldn't be a challenge at all if the bread couldn't eat you back. <laughs> For what it's worth, it is at least creative and funny. Nice one, Sachiko. <laughs> oh, wow. Totally called it. Oars? Hmm. I don't really get that. I, is that supposed to be an emoji? The the parentheses O R Z or I don't know. New entries unlocked in the character dossier menu. Satoshi Mochina. Okay, cool. So it seems like once we get all the endings for a chapter, we unlock more stuff in that bonus, which makes sense honestly. Um, and with that, we've completed chapter one. Granted, this has been pretty short time, so maybe we'll start chapter two a little bit and see what we can do. Stranger in the Spotlight. Yeah, and oh, look. We, um, there's quite a bit coming up ahead. I'm gonna refrain from reading those titles so as not to spoil things, but I guess if you wanted to, that option is there. But yeah, we'll, we'll start chapter two for a little bit. Within the auditorium stood Yoshiki, Morishige, and Mayu. As well as the junior high trio, Nana, Chihaya, and Nari. And the ever-coupled Azusa and Nan. Honestly, I really appreciate them just briefly going through and putting names to the faces we see. And in the front of the room, presiding over them all, were Sachiko and Yoshikazu. So, is everyone here? What is she making us do now? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? As I look around at the students here in Heavenly Host Elementary, I notice that we have a lot of drama club members. So it only seems right to put this on a play, don't you think? Huh? A play, huh? 
Wasn't that the premise from the very beginning? I don't know why they're caught by surprise. Oh, are you in your drama club too? Hmm. I feel like I've asked them that exact same question once before, somehow. So there's obviously some implication that uh, a lot of these characters have met in a setting that none of them remember at the moment, but at least not most of them. Ah, yes, as are Chihaya and Nari. Though, as first year drama club newbies, we've got our hands full learning the basics and can't really act per se just yet. <laughs> I'm a, a level even below that. Don't know if you call it the basics or what, but I've never even tried to act before. I'm the same boat as Sir Knight. Ugh, do you stop calling me that already? Sir Knight? Because his name is Kishi Numa, and Kishi is the Japanese word for knight. It's a wonderful nickname, don't you think? It's not bad, actually. <laughs> it does have a rather romantic ring to it. Not bad, Knight Numa. Hmm? A uniform? Are, are you two from St. Cruz Academy, by any chance? It's unlike you to have friends among their student body, Kishinuma. <laughs> yes, it is unlike me. Hey, I resent the implication. Are they like an all-girls academy? But really, my memories of these two are hazy. I think I met them somewhere in here, actually. Must be blood drive. <laughs> St. Cruz? That's a missionary school famous for its really top-notch drama department. That's awesome. <laughs> I guess they're uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> Thanks, you're all so cute. I just want to hug you all to death. Now cued on getting jealous. <laughs> Dear wife, you're far too willing to hug people other than me. That is a service you should not be offering. <laughs> Alright, everyone, quiet, please. Is it finally time? At Sachiko's clap, Yoshikazu let out an angry roar and struck the floor hard with his hammer. A dull sound rang out, and the entire room shook. Whoa, calm down, man. Hey, Lunkhead, you be quiet too. <laughs> All it took was that one simple scolding, and Yoshikazu halted his rampage on the spot, sinking back a bit. Guys, loyal as can be to Sachiko, and only Sachiko, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I don't really understand why though. Perhaps she's got some kind of dirt on him? Or Loki, she killed him? <laughs> I know there are several of you mixed in who have nothing to do with Drama Club. But Kishinoma kun, your reactions amuse me, so you're going to be participating anyway. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So make sure you're the best reaction performer there is. What does that even mean? <laughs> Azusa and Ram will be assigned a similar role, I think. We're in the same performance category as Sir Knight? That's rather unexpected. Look, I'm no performer in any sense of the word. Honestly, dragging me back into this crap? Just leave me be already. Okay, 
I'm of the same mind. I'm sorry, but I will not participate in this farce. Oh my god, this again. <laughs> Guys. Do you have no memory or inclination of what happened in the first chapter of this game? Hmm. Do you think it's really okay to say that? Huh? Sachiko curled her lips upward in an unnatural looking smile and produced a, a gas burner. <laughs> a gas burner? The heck are you doing with something like that? Wait, I remember that burner. I remember it, but from where? Crap, that's the burner from when I died, isn't it? Is it? I think I remember this from the original Corpse Party, right? Yikes. Yeah, I, I think this is from the original Corpse Party. No! The anatomical model that should have been Ash by now is back up on its feet, engulfed in flames once again, and quickly embraced Yoshiki as it had before. But the sensation was more than simple burning. Every last skin cell on Yoshiki's body felt like it was melting. The pain was almost incomprehensible. <laughs> Shino, Zaki, run! Run! Quite the stressful situation. Well, I'm glad we got that uh, reminder. Yikes. So, clearly Yoshiki remembered that. What's going on, Kishinomakun? Sachiko, stop! Please stop! I get it! I'll, I'll do it! You win! I'll do the show, darn it! <laughs> you will? Yay! It's so funny. She she acts like it's, you know, of their own will and that she's genuinely excited, but, you know. Sachiko tossed the gas burner aside like a ragdoll, and an innocent smile instantly lit up her face like the child she was. <laughs> Yikes. Yoshiki's, you know, had quite a few struggles to go through. Sure it isn't easy, remembering your own death. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold up a sec. How the heck am I remembering my own death when I'm still alive? But then, what was that vision I just had? Kishinuma, Daijoka. Kishinuma, are you okay? He's going through a little bit of an existential crisis. Uh, uh, Trying to figure out who he is, whether or not he exists. Is he alive? Is he dead? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. My thoughts were just kind of muddled there for a sec. Oh, I almost forgot. Any good production needs an audience. I'm gonna go call everybody in. Everybody? Who else are they gonna call? Is it more students, or is it gonna be like zombies or corpses, or I don't know. But I think we're gonna call it here and find out just exactly who this audience is in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was actually really fun exploring the wrong ends. I think I've enjoyed the wrong ends more than the the right ends so far. Um, the comedy is definitely there. I do think that some of the comedy uh, does a disservice to the characters that have been built in the pre built in the previous game. But nevertheless, um, I appreciate the, the CG and the, the music and uh, the funny moments when they do occur. And I'm looking forward to more of Chapter 2, and I hope you guys are too. I know this was a bit of a short episode, but it's really all I have time for at the moment. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. Yeah.